In this video, we're going to continue to talk about rendering, but more specifically, saving our render outputs and preparing them to be submitted. So you've generated a render, you've set a background color, now you're ready to go ahead and save this graphic. This is done in your render view window, which again can be accessed by clicking on the little eye icon at the top of your menu bar. Now, under the file drop-down menu within the render view, there is a save image option. Within the save image option, here you can see once again, because of how I have my project set, in this case default, it wants to save it in the images folder. I can also come down here and change the file type here. So maybe I call this example render, and I've set it to a PNG. This way I could use it on the internet for my portfolio, I could pull it into Photoshop and do other edits, and a lot of other options. This is, next part is an important part, and often a part that students will forget about. And that is the save mode. So often I'll have students come back to me once they have saved their renders, talking about why, how come it looks different from what I saw in the actual render view. When you save the raw image, it is actually saving it as a different type of format whereby it's going to not have all of the edits and all of the visibility that you set as far as the render view here for the software. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do two renders here just to demonstrate to everybody. I'm going to call this raw image and I'm going to save. But then what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to save image again and I'm going to color manage my image the view transform embedded, which will look more along the lines of what I'm actually seeing here. So let's call this example renderer again, and we'll call this color managed image. And we'll also save that as well. So now I need to navigate through my documents here into Maya, projects, default, and let me go into images. I should have two images here. Let me go ahead and open with the PNG. And here you can see, as far as the graphic layout is concerned, now because I did a PNG, I actually lost the background here. But you notice how I hop between the two graphics and you see how one gets lighter and darker. This can also be seen if we do a JPEG graphic. And let's see if I can open up the other, the color managed here next to it. I think I can. There we go. You see how much darker when you're using raw image it is in comparison to the color managed image. So again, be very aware of this. This is, yes, this is one more thing that you have to remember whenever you're rendering out, but that really is a core element of making sure that when you render out your images, they look their best. So again, whenever you're going through and rendering out, remember that you want to make sure that you are saving your render as a color managed image.